December 22nd, Thursday. Hello, everybody. In all my years of observing con I've never seen anything like this. Okay, this image was posted seven hours ago on Facebook by this gentleman, Paul. What I want to show you is this right here, yellowish color. And also the well-defined circleish coma diameter and also the ion tail shooting out from the sun. Weird about this comet is it has no definition of the tail where it's supposed to be. It has nothing but a yellowish, whitish blob. Looks like, to me, I've done studied this before, where they um, discover a magnetic field for us and, and, and the light. Leaning heavily that this comet here has a magnetic field. And, and I zoomed into it here, if you look closely, right here where tail should be, should be two tails as, as it travels, travels you can see just barely distortion on, on this side, getting brighter. As I reported, it had 3060 observation solution date November 30th. Let's check out what it has today. Today, well, the, uh, the last solution was on the 16th. Nothing else has changed on the, this data right here. Now it's up to 3139, an increase of 79 observation in less than what, 16 days. Why are observations important? Because if you look at the 12th, uh, the first one being minus 5.2, and that was McNutt had only had 331 observations. And the most on this list here is number 10, Lovejoy, it had 7,890 observations. And it came, the closest it got to Earth was 0 0.469 AU. Closest of these 12 that came to Earth was in July 20, and they only had 1,717, and they came at point. 24 or AUs.